So nodding diseases are not only a one-way street from the animal to the human. It can go back from human to the animal. And we have to be aware of that. And, and I'm one of the big promoters of One Health, One Medicine. It's a zoonotic disease. If we don't work together, public health agencies with veterinary agencies and veterinary health professional, public health professional, we will not solve this problem. So, so uh, how can we help as people working in academia? Number one, we can help and work uh, very closely with our diagnostic colleagues in the veterinary college. And as you know, the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab is, is an eminent uh, lab in this country. And we get a lot of samples every day, not only from swine uh, farmers or swine practitioners, but also from cattle and other, other uh, livestock and poultry. Second thing is, if this virus circulates in swine, how can we protect the swine? We are now continuing to develop better tests, which are based more for high, which are better for high throughput, like real-time PCR, to make differentiating tests so we can identify much more rapidly. Do our vaccines do they work against this uh, this new strain or not? And if they don't which we believe we might have some issues here, we have to develop a novel vaccine. For pigs against these H1 and 1 uh, in swine, the third area we can contribute here is education. We as, as, as veterinary professionals and knowing swine flu, we have to be able to educate the public and so there is no, so give scientifically based information.